Morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on the Mound Tune Focus ST3. In today's video, we're gonna get this prepped, uh, repair the dings in this door and try and get it sorted. I've got my sanding trolley out and ready. Um, yeah, let's get cracking. See you in a bit. seeing uh, I just prepped the wing and I carried on sanding but with the door um, it sort of highlights when you sand it highlights all the stuff underneath if any of you get half an idea You know, uh, I said in the first video, these are silicones. Well, because this motor went back four or five times, this actually looks like pieces of polish that may well have been painted over. Because if you look, as see there, there's a white bit in it. And then the white bit comes off. So this was a silicon in the lacquer. Now I have a feeling that that was polish. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to carry on sanding. I sanded uh, the wing down. I'll carry on sanding this, but I just thought I'd show you because this sort of highlights what's going on here. Uh, I've just gone over that with 400 and this with 400, but I'm going to go more on the door. 400 was enough to knock everything out of that. Um, but we're gonna, I'm gonna change to 320 now and um, try and get rid of all this that's exposed. I don't know whether this is stuff or just crap in the lacquer. Um, I have no idea. So uh, yeah, I'll carry on sanding this down. See you in a bit. managed to sand all the way through that we ended up using 180 grit on that and then 240 and 320 um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a product called barcoat on the wing and the door to try and seal that back up then we'll probably put some wet and wet primer or some 2k primer over it and then start with a fresh uh, basis sort of thing uh, this has been painted a few times I don't know how many times this guy painted it I've gone through and through and through um, I've flattered back enough, all the imperfections and everything's out now. Everything that I need out is out. So uh, let's crack on with the rear door and the rear quarter and go from there.
we go. That's flatted off. So, um, as you just see, I uh, scotched it all off, scrubbed it with a scuffing paste up there, and scuffing paste is like a soap as well, if that makes sense. You can see it lathering up. Uh, I still got to repair a dent down there, now, and I found another dent just in the corner here. I don't know if you can see that little one. I'm going to do that for him as well. Um, and we had a scratch running through the door, which I found down the bottom now. Quite hard to see, but there is a little scratch in there. And yeah, these scratch up here. And then we've got a dent in there and a couple of out ones. So I'm gonna sort that out as well. In normal circumstances, uh, one bother at this stage, scuffing, scuffing it all down and cleaning so much. But where they've had paint contamination issues, um, I can't stress enough that if you're dealing with a car that's had problems like this, clean, clean, clean and clean and carry on cleaning. Um, <laughs> it will be your best friend. So when you have silicon issues and, and problems like that, the best advice I can give you is just to keep on scrubbing, cleaning, scrubbing, cleaning. Uh, when you saw me panel wiping it, I've got two lots of panel wipe over there. A waterborne one and a solvent based one. So use the water based one first, then the solvent based afterwards. Different contaminants, like off your hands, if you touch a panel, um, solvent based panel wipe will not remove the oils that come from your skin. Water based ones will remove the oils that come from your skin. So, um, like I said, yeah, clean as much as you can with stuff like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the dent. Repair the dent, repair this dent, tap in the little hires that are up there and then tend to them scratches down there. Uh, I'll start getting it all ready uh, and then we can re-prep everything correctly to get it ready for the priming uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to carry on and I'll see you in a bit. ready for primer so all we've got to do now is prep the quarter the door hasn't been touched but I'm gonna to have to blend into the door so we'll prep that but 
I don't know whether there's any silicon in this, so I'm going to have a look. I'm going to scotch it all off and have a look and see and go from there. And have a look. If I do need to prime this, then I'll prep this all properly and get this side ready for primer. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on, get this sanded down, and we'll have ended a up sanding all of his um, paint and lacquer off. His lacquer stopped up here. Um, petrol cap's off. We've got to clean up all the edges all around the petrol cap. And then inside where the petrol cap was, we've got a big long line of lacquer there for some reason. And then all down inside here. And then some up there. Um, I'm going to figure out how I can get this off and try and get a nice finish. Um, it don't matter if you blow your paint and you clear into where the light is or where the bumper reveal goes because you're not going to see it. When you open the petrol cap, you can see all of that. So you do need a nice finish. And my mate don't want people thinking this has been smashed to pieces when he comes to sell it, and it hasn't. It, it's all stemmed from a tiny scuff, or a tiny, you know, medium scuff on a bumper. And it was painted here and blended into here. So all of this uh, is now got to be rectified. So yeah, we'll sort that. I'm just going to sand all of this out now and make that look as best as it can do. Right, there we go. Removed it all out of there. Just got to figure out how to get the um, housing out of the way so I can get a nice clean finish around that edge. And then we'll just blow across and then fade our clear through into the light well there sort of thing and then under the bumper hanger it's not a problem you get a nice clean edge there and then when you open a fuel cap it'll all look factory and oem inside there how you want it to look so yep i'm gonna work out to do that and then we're uh we're rocking but considering how well all of the other paint sanded off of this i might go and do the same to that passenger yeah. door and then my mate's just rocked up in another banger. <laughs> this is his little project, work in progress. He's just going to take it for a blast. Covered in dust. Another one that I've got to paint soon, once he's made his mind up. Cool little thing. Fit my fat ass in there. <laughs> For a show you lot, some of you might like that. Do love an old mini. Running bright out here still. Be nice when he's done it. Right, I started chasing it back. This is all the original stuff. That's all their stuff. I found a nice bit of easy fill with some uh, pinholes in now. I'm tempted to grind all that out and sort that out myself. And that's the multiple layers of their stuff in the corner. Uh, this is taking ages and I've run out of time. So, I think that's going to be a tomorrow job. But I'm glad that I did take it all back and remove all this because this is going to cause problems. Even if I did um, use a sealer, bar coat or something, that's going to cause me problems. This paint is still too fresh. So, I'm going to get this off tomorrow. That is enough for one day. That's probably going to come out. I'll repair that with my spotter and put a light skim in there. Here we go, guys. I've run out of time, and I think this video is long enough. Um, we've made some good progress. I'm going to repair that front door now, make that right, uh, pull the petrol cap part out. Probably got to pull the splash guard down and unbolt it and take it out of the way. Um, and that way we can get a good finish around there, good finish around here. Uh, and then it should be back to how it should be. So a um, bit longer than I anticipated. It's been a blooming hot day and lots of hard work, um, but we're getting there. 
So, uh, yeah, the next one will be finishing up, priming, and then uh, hopefully on to the painting stage. Um, as I said in the other video, I've put a community post up now. So if you look on your phones or your tablets, um, you'll be able to see that uh, for the Q&A. I'm going to do a live Q&A on Friday at 6 o'clock, I believe. That's what I'm sure I'll put it down. But have a look on there and you'll see it. If you're on a PC... I don't know where what you where you have to go to look at it on a PC, but uh, I'm sure there is a community tab or something that you can have a look at. So uh, go on there and have a little butchers, get some questions down there. We'll try and answer them when we go live. Uh, we're getting real close to the 10K. I'm sure we'll make it by Friday. So uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.